Development, it's about three processes. Uh, one is about a cell becoming many in an organized, structured and finite manner. Uh, the second process is about how these cells become different from each other as they multiply. And the third process is about how uh, these very different cells organize themselves into tissues and organs. Uh, over the last uh, 50 years, and thanks to the introduction of genetics into developmental biology, we have gone from a description of those processes to the understanding of the mechanisms that underlie them and that therefore generate organisms over time and, and in embryos. Uh, I have been involved in this research for many years and I started my research working a lot with Drosophila melanogaster, which has been crucial in the understanding of these processes, in, in yielding, in opening uh, the black box that underlie development. That is why we have uh, very early in the book a chapter dedicated to Drosophila, uh, which uh, in, uh, has been improved uh, in the different editions as our pace of knowledge has increased. And in this one, it has some new additions and some conceptual frameworks. Drosophila appears again in other chapters illustrating processes in the manner that Drosophila always does, linking genes to particular developmental processes. Uh, I do feel that this is uh, something that it's very important for the students because only C. elegans, uh, which we also have important sections in the book devoted to, has the same kind of rigor in uh, using genetics to understand uh, processes. Uh, and and that, that's the, the, the bulk of the book is focused on how cells make organisms and is the organismal view and the architecture of organisms that really matters to us. But uh, it is very important to understand how you link those genes, the instructions to build those organisms lie in the genes and therefore you need organisms which allow us to think not only about how the genes build the organisms, which is through cells, but also about how can we tackle those problems methodologically. And in that sense, the, the chapter of Drosophila is very important, and in acknowledgement to that, it figures very early in the book, because it, it does yield a lot of the principles which we can use not only about how organisms build themselves, but also about how to go about finding about those things.